What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to add plugins on your Terraria server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. Terraria is one of the great builder games. It has plenty of interesting elements from combat, lore, and a very unique art style. However, like all open world games, it can become repetitive after a while. So what do you do to spice up the gameplay? Well, you add plugins and mods. Today, we're covering how to run the T-Shock mod loader on your server so you can install tons of fun plugins. First, let's install T-Shock. Head to your Apex server panel and stop the server with the red stop button. Scroll down to the Game File section, and you're going to open up the drop-down bar, and in the search bar you can type up Terraria T-Shock, or Terraria should work, and the T-Shock will be visible. You're going to select the T-Shock version, then you're going to select Change Version, then you're going to click Create New World, and finally, you're going to restart the server to load up the T-Shock mod loader, and everything will need to move on to the next steps. To install the T-Shock plugins, you're first going to want to head to the T-Shock plugin repository, which can be found in the description below, and you're going to download the desired plugin. For me, I'm going to choose the creative mode one, because I think that one will be very helpful for me. From here, you're going to head back to your Apex server panel, and stop the server with this red stop button once more. Then you're going to go into your FTP file access on the left hand side and log in. From here, you're going to locate the folder server plugins and press the upload button on the left when the new page launches. From here, you're going to drag and drop your plugin file into the add file section on the right hand side. Once it's at 100% on the left side, you're going to go back up to the main page of your panel by clicking on the name of your server at the top and you're gonna either start or restart your server to get the changes settled. Now let's cover some common issues. If for some reason the plugins that you put in aren't working, it usually means that the T-Shock for Terraria may not have been properly installed. Head back to your Apex server panel, make sure that it is in fact T-Shock in your game file field, and make sure that the server plugins folder and all your plugins with the .dll files are there properly. Then go ahead and restart your server once more and it should be working. If for some reason only one of your plugins is not working but the rest are, this often means that the plugin version is an older version for T-Shock and is not up to date. Just make sure you get the most recent version and that should fix it. Well gamers, that's the tutorial. With this new knowledge, you can elevate your game from a 10 to an 11. There are tons of mods to choose from, and you can definitely find at least one or two to suit your style. That'll just about do it for this one gamers, and as always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time gamers.